to this brief tutorial on how to get started with Kahoot, uh, both for yourself and for your kids. Um, the first thing you're going to need to do is go to Kahoot.com, which is where I'm at right now. And then you're going to notice that you have a, an option to sign up in the upper right hand corner or to log in. I have an account, so I'm going to choose login. If you've never used Kahoot, you're going to want to choose sign up. As far as your students, when they go to Kahoot, if they're using laptops, you're going to want them to choose the enter game pin. And this is how your kids will access the, um, the Kahoots that you make for them. There is no classroom. There's no rostering like a Google Classroom. So your kids just go to the website or go to the app, and then they enter the pin. So I'm going to log in. Uh, when you sign up, you also have the option to um, log in or sign up with Google, so feel free to do that. Once you're in, you're going to notice that you have three options in the upper right hand corner. Discover is where you're going to see cahoots that have been made by other teachers, and those are public for your use. Um, there are good ones, there are bad ones, and there are some that are in between. And there's a search bar here. So if you give it a search of American Revolution, you might find 200,000 cahoots on that. Cahoots in the middle here is a library for the cahoots that you end up making, and we don't have any of those, so we're going to skip clicking on that. And then once you do have your kids start to take some of your cahoots, you can get a report on their performance. So let's go ahead and make a cahoot by clicking on Create. You have three options for your new Kahoot. You can do the quiz, you can do jumble, or you can do survey. Quiz is going to look like a traditional multiple choice question. Jumble uh, has the kids move answers around in a particular order. And survey is just used to um, get audience opinions. So most teachers use quiz. Let's create a quiz. I had one that I was working on earlier, so I'll just delete that. So here are a few things about your um, quiz that you're going to need to put in as long as you know how to spell. You also need to tag it um, so that it can be searched by other people. Those two are required. You're going to want to make sure that your uh, Kahoot is only visible to you. If you don't want people to see it, you can select your language and then you can select your audience. And so we're going to pick school. You can have an intro video if you want. You can credit sources if you want. All of these little question marks will give you um, assistance with those things. You also can drag in a cover image. So if there was a particular image that you wanted, there's quite a few Getty images that are free. Um, so I'll just pick this avocado, and now we're good to go. So honestly, from here, you just create questions. Uh, you can create as many as you want, and you just simply type in the question here. Choose how long you want that question um, to be available to your kids because this is played in a um, competition environment, so to speak. And so if you want it to be shorter or longer, you can just adjust that. And if you want points to be awarded, you can adjust that. They make you put at least two answers. So if you have a true false, that'll work. You have up to four. So you just type those answers here. And then when you're done typing in however many answers you want, you need to choose which one is the right answer. You can upload photos, so I think this would be um, really useful for images or graphs or maps or charts. And then you can also add YouTube links, so if there's a quick short video that you want your kids to watch, you can ask them questions based on that. When you're all set with which questions you have, what answers you have, you've selected the right answer, you simply hit next, and now question one is there. You can always go back and edit that question. You can also duplicate that question, or you can throw it in the trash altogether. To add another question, you just click Add Question, and then you're good to go. So when we, now they're going to yell at me. When we have all of these done, you just need to hit Save. So your options, once it's saved, are, again, to edit it, to preview it, to play it with your kids, or to share it. So I would imagine that you're going to make these ahead of time. So we're just going to say, I'm done. Then you're going to notice that your cahoots have been built here, and that you're now going to have this running list that you can use over and over again. When you do go to make this um, something that you're going to use in class, you just simply click on Play. 
and you have two choices. You've got classic, which is all kids have a device and all kids are answering and all kids' responses are recorded, or you have a team versus team shared devices. So if you don't have a one-to-one -one situation, you're going to want to choose team mode. If you have one-to-one, -one, then choose classic. You also have some game options down below. Um, you can take your time and go through those the first time you do it. Um, and just depending on your style, you can adjust those with the on-off switch. And I'm going to choose classic. So now I'm in class. I'm ready to play. All of my kids have iPads. I click classic. Music will begin playing. And then you will have the code, which is how students join, displayed up here at the top. So when kids go to Kahoot.com, they just enter the game pin. That's the game pin. And then they can um, join. And that zero players will start to increase as your students get there. You can also make it full screen so that your kids um, see this on the overhead or you can minimize it, whatever. If you have any questions, reach out to Jason, Jeff, or myself and we'd be happy to help you. Thanks.